Hello Capricorn, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's reading. For the main part of the reading, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West for support of Oracle cards, Wisdom of the House of Night. Here above the barcode is who created them. But if you look for them on Amazon, you'll easily find them in the artists if you'd like to see that. All right, two, three, one, two, three, one, Getting this. All right, let's keep going. All right, all right. Now, there's an interesting energy where this is starting from. It, it's going well. I'm gonna give it like a heads up here. This looks like it's gonna go really well, actually, but. It's interesting how this is starting. Now the cards, I'll show you the cards that came up and let's see what comes through with them. You got Warrior, Success, and you got Deceit. All showing up with what's pulling you into this situation. Well, it's interesting with that Deceit card because I feel like when you, got in, when you got involved with this, you wanted to understand, like, you were looking at something and I feel like, I don't feel you... I don't feel like Capricorn energy lying, because I was curious. I'm like, it was did you find the need to? But I'm not feeling that. Um, you have success here when you got into the situation, but there's somebody or some somebody. There's a person you did not trust, and it was connected to this success. All right, so you didn't like this energy. There's someone you didn't like. I'm, I'm getting it very strong. You did not like them, but that's why the deceit, the deceit is coming in with the warrior energy. Someone you didn't like that you dealt with very positively, and you were nicer to than you really wanted to be. That's interesting, because it was connected to this success. I almost feel like you had to like. Um, Give somebody credit, but they didn't deserve it. Something like that. What is this about? Because I'm seeing, like, the reason I'm seeing deceit here is because you're not saying something. You weren't, you weren't saying something, and you really didn't like someone, is what I'm getting. Um, and I'm getting, the, it's, it's terms of the success, though. You felt like you had to? And you didn't really want to. It's just like it felt like it had to be that way for the time being. This was not a bad moment, but it wasn't really like, I don't know. It's like success was there and it's kind of like, I'm not going to lose out on this success because of that person. I'm not playing their game. I'm not going to give into this and call them out on their ridiculousness and ruin my success. I'm not going to allow them to do that. That's what it was. You weren't going to let somebody else ruin your success. Even though they did something and normally you would call it out is what I'm getting. You're like, oh no, you're not going to ruin my moment. You're not going to ruin this success for me. No, I'm not going to allow it. I'll go along like everything's fine because I'm going to have what I deserve and you're not going to take it from me just because I would normally call you out. And you're. It's almost like somebody was trying to set you up and you saw it, and you're like, no, I'm not, playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing that. I'm not going to do it. Because the other side has the Four of Pentacles, which is Four of Coins and this same thing. Um, I'm getting like a little forlorn feeling here, like they're holding on, waiting for you to bite, waiting for you to play, and they kept holding on, and I don't feel like you did. You didn't give into it. You also have coming next the King of Swords, King of Swords has complete control. You know what I mean? This is he, she, they. Don't get caught up in the gender. But as the this is the Capricorn energy is what I'm getting. You made up your mind what was going to be said and what wasn't going to be said. Nobody was going to pull the strings. No one was going to get you to do anything you don't want to do. You weren't going to jeopardize that success. You had complete control. You also were keeping a very sharp eye out. Ears were open. You knew what was going on. You knew what was happening around you. Certain people knew the truth anyway. I'm not going to lose my success over this. I'm not going to do it. I'm feeling that energy. All right, so 
This seemed to win out for you, though. Because this energy that wouldn't let go and kept waiting, kept trying to wait for you to bite, got sick of waiting and left. The death card came in. All right, so this person, they, they left. Whoever it was, whatever they were doing, you didn't play. You kept your success. They got sick of waiting for you to play the game. Realized, probably finally realized you weren't going to do it because you didn't want to and you weren't going to jeopardize your success. So they, they exited. Feels, that seems good. I, 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 I want to say bye, Felicia, or however that goes. Bye, Felicia. Like, whatever. Like, bye. <laughs> there you go. Um, there they go. Now, even though they left, this is the sense of, like, almost like you're connected to this person. It's a coworker, a family member, or a friend that's connected through other friends. Like, you just can't really get rid of them. But they stop antagonizing you is what... I feel the death card is sitting. They stop antagonizing you. They stop waiting for you to play. They leave you alone. You, because of this moment, because they back off and they leave you alone, they're out. They're out. Whatever it is with that situation, they're out. It, it's coming back to that. There's more energy coming forward with them, but it doesn't matter. It's just, they're out. You got the oath coming in with the movement. As you continue forward, like, you're holding strong to this. You're like, well, it worked great this far. I didn't even have to say anything, and they're out. Or I didn't have to do this. I didn't have to do something. They, it took care of itself. They're gone. The oath is, like, you're creating this oath with yourself, kind of like, and I'm not going to back down from it. That seems like a normal Capricorn. It seems like a normal Earth energy, really. But Capricorn especially... You make that promise to yourself, I'm not going to give in to that. I'm not going to let, no, I'm not going to give in to it. You're making this oath, and as you keep moving forward, you're reinforcing this. Like, nope, what's done is done. We move forward from it. Not even addressing it at this point. Not even going to address it. Then you get this card popping in here. It's just hope. And it's almost as if you're expecting the other person to get their just desserts without you even having to do anything. It's like, it'll work itself out. I don't even have to do anything. I don't have to call that out. That person's getting what they deserve already. I don't have to worry about it. This is very good. I like this positive. I feel like this is very positive, very good. Um, this person, this hope energy with that oath is kind of like someone owes you. And you're not going to go towards them to fix something they messed up. Whatever this was, with this term of success, someone baiting you, trying to get you to act a certain way or react, react a certain way, you didn't do it. It's like they owe you. It's like either, I feel like for a lot of you, it's like a employee, employer, work type thing, or like a family. Could be a friend thing, but this is if it's a friend thing, it's like they're connected to so many other friends that you just can't get rid of them. Whatever it is, though, I'm getting whatever they did. You didn't play into it, but now it's kind of like that oath with the hope card, and I'm feeling the hope card is like, they owe you. They need to, uh, you're not going to go forward to fix it for them. You're not going to fix this situation. You're not going to fix this situation. It's on them. They created it. They need to fix it. So if they want it to go right, they're going to need to fix it, and you're just not backing down from it. This energy... They, get, they gave up on trying to get you to do whatever they wanted. Whatever they were trying to goad you to do, whatever they thought you'd bite and you would... Whatever they thought they could get you to do, they gave up on that with the death card. The Five of Pentacles is saying... It's almost like... It reminds me of like a little kid leaving a mess in the kitchen. And then they're expecting like someone else to clean it up for them. And they're just walking away and ignoring it. But the person they're expecting to clean it up for them won't, isn't doing it. And now it's kind of like, now that that mess is in the kitchen, you can't have, you can't create another meal. You can't enjoy dinner or snack or anything until it's cleaned up. And the, it's like looking at this situation is like, they made this huge mess. You didn't pick it up for them because it wasn't your mess to clean up, but it's still there. And now they can't move forward until that mess gets cleaned up. It's like literally, it's like, it reminds me of a kid again that left a mess in the kitchen. You can't create more food. You can't create dinner. You can't create a snack until the kitchen is cleaned up. You can't do it. 
things are a mess. You can't get into the fridge. Everything's all over the place. You can't do it. You gotta go. You gotta clean it up. If you if you want to make another meal, you gotta clean up the last situation first. So literally, they're gonna have to clean up their own mess. The five of pentacles. I'm getting this person, whoever it was. They've gotta clean up their own mess. And they're bent out of shape about it a little bit. They're like feeling like I feel like this poor me attitude, like uh, which. Wait, why? Like, <laughs> who's going to feel sorry? Like, you make a mess. Who's, who's going to feel bad for the person who made the mess having to clean up their own mess? Like, why would you feel bad for that? I don't... That doesn't make sense to me, but that seems to be the energy they have. Like, oh, poor me. I got to clean up my own mess. But it's almost like they're a little bit warped in that sense. Like, literally, they made the mess. But for some reason, they don't, they don't think they're supposed to own it. So the fact that they have to clean up their own mess... It's that kid feeling again. It's kind of like they just they just they take it for granted like somebody will clean up after me. Like, I'm just owed this. You should have to clean up after me. Like, no, not in reality. No. So it's a real weird little poor me attitude. I just, it doesn't match reality, but that feeling is there. It's really strange. All right. I mean, you know, that's the energy coming through. Judge it for whatever you want. I'm just like... Why would you feel bad for somebody who has to clean up their own mess? Like, I don't get it. That doesn't make sense to me, but that's the energy coming through. Moving on. So, this person, whoever it is, cleans up their own mess. They they have to. When they do that, when they put things right, I feel like part of that is making things right with you. In some sense, they have to make things right with you. They clean up their own mess and they make things right with you. That's the lover's card between you and this energy. Whatever game they were playing that you didn't bite, that you didn't play, and you left them to clean up their own mess, after they, I feel like part of cleaning up their own mess is making things right with you, and I feel like they do that. The lover's card is like they're coming towards you to make things right with you. I'm also getting this three of swords with this ace of wands for the environment too. Like. It's kind of like, it's a bit of embarrassment, a little bit of shame, but also learning from that and realizing, you know, I don't, nobody, like, I don't, like, I'm not owed to somebody cleaning up after me, you know what I mean? I, you know, nobody, like, that's not supposed to happen. Like, it's kind of like they're acknowledging, like, having that attitude to begin with, having this poor me, oh, poor me, I gotta clean up my own mess. It's this. It's like it's like owning that. Like, yeah, I guess that's not right. Because the three of swords is leading into this ace of wands, kind of like this epiphany moment. It it kind of makes me want to laugh because it's like one of these epiphany moments for them that you're like, that's your epiphany moment, like realizing you have to clean up after yourself. <laughs> that's that's your epiphany moment. Okay, all right. If it is, then it is. But that's the that's how I feel. Like you're looking at this person. Like you're just now understanding that. Well. At least you're, at least you're getting it, but it's kind of to you. It's kind of like, that's kind of like one on one stuff. That's like, obviously you have to clean up your own mess. <laughs> it's just very interesting. It's kind of funny. I don't know. I I literally feel like as this keeps going forward, it's one of these situations where somebody's doing something and you're not liking it, and you're sick of pick, picking up after them. You're not playing into it. You're not playing into it. And you're leaving it for them to clean up themselves. They finally do, I guess a little begrudgingly, this little poor me attitude, but when they make things right with you, like, I don't feel like you're, you're not sugarcoating it. You're like, yeah, well, good. You should have cleaned up your own mess. Like, good. That's what you should do. You've got these three cards with how you're leaving this situation. Well, there's one more card after, by the way. Fulfillment, the moon, and obedience. You're not letting this backslide. You're not letting this backslide. You're not really convinced that it's like it's not going to happen again. You're not convinced. You're not convinced this won't happen again, and that's smart. I think that's right on point, especially the way this energy feels. You're not. You're not. You know, like oh, I guess we solved that. That's not, that won't be a problem again. You're not feeling that way, but you're like you're hopeful of it. You still got that hope card in the past, so you're not really sure if this is going to go and fly right from here on out. But you got fulfillment with the obedience. You're not going to tolerate it anymore. 
You're not going to clean up this mess for whoever it was. You're not going to do what you did in the past, because I feel like that's kind of where this comes from. Maybe in the past you would have played. Maybe in the past you would have cleaned up the mess. You're over that. Fulfillment comes from being obedient to yourself. It's self-obedience. I'm not. You made that oath to yourself. That oath that you made to yourself is being repeated in obedience. Obedience in this deck is a lot like justice. You'll probably realize that if you look at the picture. It's very much justice. As long as I don't allow this to backslide to what it was and I hold strong to my own personal oath to myself, this won't backslide. We won't have to I won't have to deal with this that way again. If somebody else if somebody else decides to clean up that mess for this person, that's on them. I'm not doing it. I do see that in the long run, I do see this going a lot better and continuing to get better. You get the Nine of Pentacles. This is stability, being happy with what you have, being happy with what you've accumulated. Um, there's a lot to enjoy, a lot of riches, a lot of wisdom here, a lot of security I'm also getting here. Um, the situation is going very, very well. I don't feel like anybody else is going to pick up after this person either, whatever that was. But as a little caveat, maybe I would say, maybe, whoever this is who had the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands where they got their little epiphany moment, they're very well aware that you're... You don't think that's amusing for some for this person to leave a mess for somebody else. Whether it's you're the one cleaning it up or, or not, you're not impressed with that way of doing things. You know? So and it does weigh on this person, whoever it is. Like they it's like duh. Like, you know, it's not impressive if you leave a mess with somebody else and walk away. Nobody's impressed by that. And it bothers you and it annoys you. And they don't want to do, they don't, they, it's like, even if you're not the one cleaning it up, if they leave this mess for somebody else to clean up, they know that that's going to put you in bad standing or put them, put them in bad standing with you. So I do feel like they're avoiding that. I, I do understand that that's why this is getting better as it keeps going forward. It seems like this really does stabilize and this person flies right for a couple different reasons. But I feel like you're very smart. Like, well, we'll see. Proof is in the pudding. If it goes that way, great. But I'm not going to bet the house on it. Thank you very much. But it's going well. I feel like this ends very well. Okay. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.